Now let's talk about the keyers on the XVS switcher. We're going to come over here to ME3, and I'm going to select a background. And you'll notice over here, I'm going to go to key 1 on the panel, and I'm going to choose frame memory 3 for a lower third. Turn that key on. In the keyer, control here, I'll double punch it to bring up the menu. And you'll notice that the type of key that we're dealing with is linear auto select. That auto select key is being chosen by frame memory 4. So we have the fill and the key mapped in the menus of the switcher, which allow it to do the auto select. So that's our lower third. The next thing we're going to talk about a little bit is resizers. So each of these keyers have 2.5D resizers on them. So let's key a tape source. How about that one? And I'm again going to double punch the keyer, brings up the menu. And you can put um, a key into a resizer either from the trackball module, the key module, or from the menu. I'm going to do it from the touch screen just to show you. So here we're going to be on key 1, and we're going to go to resizer. I'm going to turn on the resizer engine. I can size it, bigger and lower, put it in a different position, like that. I also have aspect control. So if I need to do aspect changes, I can. And I can always hit default recall to bring it back to its default. Okay. Some of the other handles I have within it are borders and crops. So if I like this, I can come over here, turn on border, turn up my border amount. That's going to fill it with a flat color, which is chosen here. I have some preset colors if I want to put oh, a nice blue border around it, for example. Or I could do a beveled light edge or a beveled color edge. And I have some soft handles as well. So let's go back to beveled light edge here. Perfect. And I can even do crops. So we're going to come in. You'll notice here on the touch screen, this crop page says two of two. That's important because there's actually two pages there. If I wanted to bring in the sides together, crop on the first page, I could bring it in horizontally. This is really nice for boxes. It keeps it centered so the cameraman shots don't have to be adjusted. Or if I want, and I have a need to, I can do each individual side or the bottom and the top from this menu here. It gives me those controls. So that's a little bit about resizers. Let's talk about keyer transitions. How do we bring these keys on and off? To do that, I'm going to go back to um, my lower third real quick. So let me call up a snapshot. Let me clear the page. Frame memory, frame three, turn that on. Now let's talk about transitions. We have transition generators here to do the key transitions. If we go into the menu, type transition. I have this set up on independent transition. That means that the on and the off are totally separate. I could set the transition time coming in to five frames, and I could send the off actually even as a DME wipe. So if I turn this off, as I bring it on, it does a five frame dissolve on, and then it flies it off with a DBE. That easy. Or I could tell it to just do a different length wipe off. I want it to come on pretty quick, but I want it to come off a little bit softer there. All of these are also savable on key snapshots. So if I come back to the FlexiPad here and go to the key area, I have eight keys on this ME, and I have four separate snapshots available. I can save that as a key snapshot right there, and it'll remember all the attributes that go with it. Okay. Now let's go on to chroma keys. I'm again going to clear out my ME. Start with a background on 7. And I have a chroma key person on my keyer, I believe, on 19. Yes, I have, a, I have a still store on frame memory 19. So I'm going to select frame memory 19 and turn that key on. It comes out starting with the auto select key because frame memory 20 is actually the whole cut. So let's go into that key menu again. And I'm going to choose the type of key. Instead of a linear key, I would like a chroma key. Di diagonally down from the chroma key is the chroma key adjust button. Want to go there first and choose a sample mark. It brings up the mark right here. You want to probably bring in a large area, and if you have any differences in the color of the wall or the background, you kind of want to include it to let it see those colors to start. Now we'll hit auto start, and it'll give us a pretty decent key to begin with. The first thing I want to show you, I always do, and I do a lot of chroma keys is I want to turn on color cancel. What that does is it fixes any of the shadows or the shading of the wall that might be on the talent around the edges of them. That really is very helpful. Now we'll turn on key active so we can get to our clip and gain controls. I'm going to come down to the panel and show you a great trick. 
over here on the key module, I've got ME3 key one, and I'm going to show you show key. Show key, if I hold it down, it pushes it out to my preview monitor, the actual key signal that it's reading for this chroma key. If I touch the chroma key button, it activates my soft buttons over here so that I can adjust the clip and gain right from this module. Hold show key down. I'm going to take my gain up. Most of my chroma keys are usually around 50 of gain. If it needs to go up a little higher because of a bad lighting situation, I can do it, but I try to keep it around 50. Now I can take my clip, and you can see as I take my clip up, it gets a little noisy in the background, and as I bring my clip down, I can get a pretty sharp key. The last thing I want to show you is to trim in the edges a little bit. Now this looks dynamite, but sometimes when you have fluffy hair or different textures, you'll see a little bit of edging. So coming back to my menu, I go to the type, back to the very first page here, and go to key position. And I simply bring in the left key and the right key just a little to trim in those fine edges. And that makes for a very nice chroma key. I'm going to save that again as a snapshot because this is worth keeping. We'll come into bank six, an empty register I believe. Hold down snapshot, and we'll save that as our chroma key snapshot. That wraps up the startup part of this training video. Thank you for watching.